Ms. Ponte. Um, today is assignment 42. Um, I want to show you. Hold on, let me. See. Oh, I want to show you that I do keep up with all of your grades very closely. So here's all your names. I just don't want to show. Um, here's all your assignments that I do keep up with whenever you hand them in. So here's all your names. So just know I am watching you very closely. That's why I call a lot of your parents because you start getting too far behind and you need to do one assignment a day or you're going to start getting behind and I have to give you a bad phone call. Here's today's assignment. It's a little bit harder than yesterday, but it's the same kind. Rewrite in radical form. So that means you're going to have the radical sign and then evaluate it if you can. So here's my work. So, oh, that's too shiny. What's that other thing? Oh, here it is. That was too shiny. Okay. Okay. You know that the 27 is going to be the one that goes under the radical, and the 2, you say, oh, the 2 is on top, so it's important. It gets to go inside the house. The 3 is not important. He's on the bottom, so he goes outside of the house. Okay? That's just how. You know, that's the way I remember it. So now... Sure, that's the way you rewrite it. But then it says try to evaluate it. So, 27 with a 2 in the air, 27 squared means 27 times 27. So, I'm going to go ahead and do 27 times 27. You don't have to write it out like that, but I just like to do that to remind myself. That's what that means. So, I'm going to go ahead and solve. Not only yesterday, we just got that part. We rewrote it. But if they say rewrite it and evaluate it, that means and try to find the answer. So I'm going to do 27 times 27, and that part is going to be 729. Now, you're going to see if you can go any further than this. So if you had a radical without a number over here, it's always 2. But this one has a 3. So you're thinking, what number times itself 3 times would give you 729? So you can go, oops, let's try... So what number multiply by itself three times? So let's do five times five times five. Now it's not five times three, it's five times five times five. That's 125. So we're trying to get all the way up to 729. So let's do seven times seven times seven. 343. We're still trying to get to 700. So that was seven. Let's do nine times nine times nine. 729. Uh-huh. So it, the answer was 9. So the answer to the whole thing, what three numbers multiplied together, 9 times 9 times 9 equals 729. But that's not your answer. The answer is just the number 9. Remember, like if you were doing, um, what's the answer to this? The square root, when there's no number out here, there's an invisible 2. You know it means 2 when there's no number. So let's say there was no number. That means what number multiplied by itself gives you 16? Well, the answer would be 4 times 4. But you don't write 4 times 4. The answer is 4. What number times itself? So when you put a 3, we switched it up to a 3. You're saying what number multiplied by itself 3 times would give you 729. Okay? 9. So this is the one you're going to look back as as your guide. I know it's kind of hard. But try your best, okay? This is your guide. You should be able to do these. Okay. So first you're going to rewrite it just as a radical like we did yesterday. That's the easy part. Then I want you to find the answer like I just did. So it's a short assignment, but it's just kind of tricky where you have to sit there and think, how many times are they asking me to multiply it times itself? See if you can do it. Now, just because I used, you're going to multiply it with a 3 up there. You don't know what number is going to be out there for yours. I don't see a 3 anywhere. So, remember, this was just my example that I used to whatever, multiply it 3 times. Okay? So, you don't see a 3 anywhere. So, yours is going to be a little bit different than mine, but it's the same procedure. Okay? I'm really proud of some of you. Some of you are really doing a good job. And if anybody needs any help, 
please don't get three lessons behind. Message me and if, sometimes it's more fun to have another student help you. But you know I'll always tell you, you know, little ideas. Or some of you I've made a really quick little tiny video and sent it to you. So if you need help, I'll be more than happy to ask somebody else if they would be willing to help you, okay? All right. Bye. Love y'all. Be good. Bye.